today's farmers spreading their operations across many miles, monitoring and managing all aspects of the business has become a challenge. It's also made farmers, like Joe Hossel, reluctant to get away for a few days. That's when he decided to incorporate smart farm technology into his operation. This technology allows him to remotely manage, view, and control everything from grain bins to crops to livestock from a smartphone. The main reason I'm interested in the technology is, come, boils down to one word, efficiency. Every year I'm trying to get more efficient. I became involved with a smart farm approximately a year ago when Craig Steen from Clear to There confronted me. Well, our role in this technology is really the solutions provider. So we are a software company that has brought forward into the marketplace uh, these types of solutions for premise. So whether we're talking as we are today here on the farm for agricultural type of solutions, as well as in other areas such as home automation, business, what have you. You know, technology in the farm operation has really come along in the last four or five years, just like in other aspects of, let's say, industries. It's all about uh, return on investment, be more efficient, be more productive, in some cases, it's fewer people that are managing much larger farms. And that being said, technology is such a great means to really manage your farm um, in so many aspects. So uh, you have things like measuring grain and grain bins. Uh, we've got a bin down the road three quarters of a mile that we'll be monitoring not only the quantity within the bin, but the heat in the bin, humidity in the bin. Fuel. We have the fuel tanks right behind us, so being able to determine if when those fuel tanks are at a certain point, time to replenish. When it gets to a certain level, it will contact my fuel supplier, which will then deliver fuel. So when I'm harvesting or planting, I don't have to really worry about that. It's just going to be taken care of. I can access any and all information from my smartphone by just bringing up my app. I can access whether my doors are locked, where the temperature's at in the shop. In fact, it will alert me if we're using more electricity than we desire or there's water being used within the house when there shouldn't be. We have three cameras on this farm set. The first one is right here behind us, which monitors the machine storage, the cold storage area. Uh, the second will monitor our fuel storage area, and the third basically monitors everything in the shop storage area. Through efficiency, I thought, yeah, you know, any, anything's possible. Well, I've learned more and more that not anything, everything is possible now with this clear to there setup that we've put in. When we move on into livestock producers, we've seen uh, like hog confinement. Those hog farmers are concerned about temperature, uh, water, electricity. Same thing, poultry, cattle feeding. Again, you can go down all aspects of that type of agriculture and see different types of sensors and devices that can play in. Um, operations such as hog farming, they've had sensors and devices in their facilities to help them. What this does is due to the fact that now we can put that smartphone in the palm of their hand and give them that mobility, give them that remote access. And it can be from a single farmer to multiple people that may be involved in the operations. Joe's wife, Jody, is also taking advantage of the technology. What I like best about this system is the, the ease of use. I mean, it's so simple to operate, to uh, change the locks, change temperature settings, change whatever you want. You know, it's all tied together, the farm and the house. It's really, really nice. The mobile phone is what I truly use. When I'm at work and someone unlocks the door, I, I get a message right away to my phone. I will give my husband a little grace period and then I lock it behind him. Or uh, even just a simple fact, if, they're, if I know they're not around and someone unlocks my door, that's an alarm, alarm to me. Uh, we'll also get messages if or there's a water leak, if they're using too much water, or you know the air conditioning's gone out, or the heat. We send messages right to the phone so we know what's going on. And it shows me that the side door is locked, the front door is locked, and obviously the back door is unlocked because we're in here, but simple button, and I just lock my back door. In all honesty, it's probably something we wouldn't have thought about had not Craig Steen approached us. 
it, it gives me a very deep sense of security. They, they set the system up for us, uh, then they adapted it to our individual needs. Providing this service takes a team effort. Extending fiber optic cable into rural areas is a key piece to linking farmers to every aspect of their operation. The way we got involved in this project was initially, we had uh, started back in 2011 through some uh, uh, a stimulus award that we were granted through the USDA to build fiber to the home in all our exchanges. And once we had the fiber job completed here in 2013, we then started to uh, look at some of the technology that, would, that we could utilize with the fiber of the home and Joe Hostel's farm here is a, is a great example of how, how that's being utilized. In the rural areas, um, you know that the population isn't as dense as in the urban areas. So the benefits to the rural customers uh, as far as broadband availability is not as great. The initiative that we've been a part of where we've built Fiber of the Home has been an initiative that's trying to get broadband to every American, whether they're in the rural area or the urban area, and the same equality as far as the broadband service and the affordability to the rural customers as to the urban. This initiative is important to farmers for several reasons. First of all, the applications that are with this initiative are so important and, and just helps them to uh, operate more efficiently, to, to save money over time. It allows them to, to do a lot of cooperation amongst the farmers. We want to take the initiative and in trying to make our customers, our farmers and our residential customers aware of these features and these functionalities because it's an application that utilizes the fiber of the home that we have in place and it's a, a great opportunity for people to better their lives and their lifestyle. I don't care whether it's your farm machinery building or your grain bin, it's the same as money in a checking account. You've, you've got to pay attention to it, you know, maybe not on a monthly basis or a weekly basis, but a, a daily basis. In some of the areas like ourselves, uh, you know, we've gone to fiber of the home and um, What's next is that uh, we're looking for applications and deployments that uh, can be made where customers utilize that fiber. It's got unlimited broadband capacity. Whatever application comes up in the next few years and technology comes up, we're able to be able to accommodate that as customers demand the service or the application. Peace of mind, safety, security. Unfortunately, that's a growing concern even in rural America. Um, protecting your assets, your liability, and assets and liability can be farm equipment, livestock, just your own personal home items. And I think that age, you've reached a point in your life where you're not really ready to retire, you can't afford to retire, and technology just gives you a little bit more freedom and lets you go still to the city or go to a movie or go down the street and have dinner and know that you can still receive technology in the palm of your hand. As farming operations continue to grow, being as efficient and productive as possible means continuing to employ technology to help farmers achieve those goals.